Hello everyone. In many areas of science, engineering and certainly mathematics, uh, we have to make surface plots. Now, it is quite common to find demonstrations of surface plots over rectangular domains, but it is not that common over non-rectangular domains. Uh, so, I thought that it will be useful if I uh, can demonstrate to you live uh, how we can draw such a surface plot over a non-rectangular domain. So, as you can see, uh, on the screen we have such an example. Uh, this is the surface sin x plus cos y and the domain of interest here is this circular domain. Please note that this is not directly the projection. I have actually just drawn the domain here. Okay, so over this domain we are going to have our surface plot denoted by this z variable or the z function. So how can you do it? So let me demonstrate this uh, to you uh, using Python. Uh, so I'll use symbolic Python to define my function. <coughs> so I'm starting from absolute scratch. Uh, I'll define the, the symbolic variables x and y first. And then uh, I'll define this uh, function z. So this is sin x plus cos y. So far so good. Now this is just the symbolic function. We want to be able to uh, plot this thing numerically. So what I mean by that is we actually have to input numerical values within this x and y. We also have to understand that uh, our domain of interest is a certain uh, circular annulus. Uh, so let's say our domain is a circular annulus. So I'm just using markdown to use this to write this out. <coughs> so let's say we have this as our domain x square plus y square lying between a square and b square. All right. Uh, but first of all, let's see how we can do this over the rectangular domain. That is not our solution, but let's just see how we can do it. So, uh, of course, for actual plotting, I cannot proceed with this symbolic thing. I have to uh, use numerical values for a and b. I also have to convert this z surface uh, defined symbolically uh, into something which uh, into which I can put numerical values. For that, I'll use uh, lambdification, the lambda function uh, facility within Python. So, let me define this, the z lambda. All right. Uh, and I'm going to use this z lambda later on to uh, do the actual plotting. Uh, now, I also uh, will import this numpy. <coughs> I'll set the value a as 2 and b as 5. These are just ex uh, example values. You can choose anything uh, as long as a is less than b. And I will set my domain, first of all, uh, as a rectangular domain bounded by this uh, bounded from minus b to b. So for the x data, I'll set this from minus b minus 1 to b plus 1. Uh, similarly, I, I, I'll just copy paste from the previous line. So now I have my rectangular domain. I'll also set up this x and y uh, using this mesh grid operator. Okay, now I'm set. Uh, so uh, let's try to plot this thing in the rectangular domain itself. So I'll import uh, let me first set this as this is what I want. Uh, I'll import matplotlib. 
dot pi plot as plt the idiomatic way in which it is done and I will set up my figure uh, very basic thing here I have to specify this in order to make it understand that I am interested in creating 3d plots okay so now uh, let me use the plot surface facility within matplotlib to actually plot this thing so remember that I had defined this z lambda surface I'm going to use that and input the values x and y which I had created earlier using numpy so let's see what it gives us so you see this thing that we have obtained here is the plot for z is equal to sine x plus cos y but uh, if I just rotate it you can clearly see that this is over a rectangular domain going from minus b so our b was 5 you see it goes from minus 6 to plus 6 that's how I had defined it this is very it's a very nice surface but this is not the domain of interest so how can we actually limit our surface plot uh, in our domain of interest which is actually this one this uh, this circular annulus so what I'm going to use now is uh, referred to as masking so basically I don't uh, so just think of it like this that I have the surface plot within the rectangular domain but I just want to switch off those areas of this rectangular domain which are outside the circular annulus so anything which is lying outside the circular annulus will be masked off so uh, it's uh, quite interesting how we can do it so first of all we will define our mask uh, using this R I mean you can use any variable here I'm just using R uh, for the mask uh, masking so x square plus y square now remember that we want to mask those regions which are outside the circular annulus so x square plus y square less than a square that's one region and that has to be uh, unioned okay with the other region which is lying outside the circular annulus so basically this region <coughs> so this is our mask but we have to utilize this mask uh, to create our masked variable so the way we go about doing it is through this little magic command masked where uh, please note that this is very much within the numpy uh, so this np.ma.mastware this is very much within the numpy facilities so first of all the mask and then the z lambda so basically the second uh, argument is uh, giving us the entire thing over which uh, we have to apply the mask and now I have to plot not the z lambda rather the z masked so let's see if this thing works So you see, I have this thing, if I can just rotate this a little bit, you'll see, uh, I have this thing. Okay, so I hope uh, this is clear enough. Uh, we can, of course, uh, make it a little bit uh, fancy. Uh, uh, it's not absolutely necessary, but uh, you can set it up like this. Uh, just a better visualization. Uh, Okay, so all the axes are dimensioned properly. So that's it. Uh, so now we have actually a uh, our surface plot over the non-rectangular domain. Okay, and please note that because I had started from the symbolic Python, it actually helps me think in terms of variables, which I would actually think if I were to do this. Uh, I mean, uh, if if I were to do this thing mathematically on a piece of paper. Uh, so I hope this you find this useful. Uh, thank you very much.